Care Birmingham. My name is Jill Wilson and I'm the nurse manager here in the clinic. Today we are going to talk about transvaginal ultrasound scanning, which as part of your investigation and in fact the management of your treatment will be required. Ultrasound is achieved by allowing high frequency sound waves to be used to give us an image of such structures as your ovaries, your uterus and of any surrounding anatomy which gives us a clue as to how shall we treat this lady, what treatment does she need, what dose of medication does she need as, and in fact is there anything that we need to do before starting treatment to achieve success for you. When you first attend care clinic we will ask you to report to reception. This alerts us to the fact that you are here and they, then you will be asked to take a seat in our waiting room where you're most welcome to help yourself to tea and coffee and watch a little bit of TV if that so takes your fancy. We will then bring you along to the scan room and whilst you are en route we will ask you as to whether or not you need to use the toilet to empty your bladder because we don't need a full bladder for this kind of scan, we need an empty bladder. The scan is performed um, on an ultrasound couch so you will be asked to come into the scan room and remove the lower half of your clothing behind curtains maintaining your dignity of course at all times. You are asked to lie on a scan couch and we will position your legs appropriately to enable us to perform this scan comfortably and safely for you. We will then insert a very small part of a vaginal probe just inside the vagina. Now this shouldn't hurt but if it's at all uncomfortable then please do say and we will obviously stop the procedure and proceed when you are ready to do so. When we perform your transvaginal ultrasound scan, the first structure we will look at will be the uterus. We would like to see the position of the uterus, which way is it facing, are there any abnormalities such as fibroids or polyps situated within the endometrial cavity. We will then take a look at the ovaries, are they normal, do they have a polycystic appearance, are there any endometriomas, where are they situated because if we need to do treatment we may need to collect the eggs from your ovaries using a small operative procedure and we want to make sure that your ovaries are accessible and it is safe for us to collect your eggs. We will also look at the antral follicle count. The follicles are small sacs of fluid in which the eggs are contained and by counting these follicles it will give us a good indication of your egg count or your ovarian reserve. We will also take a look at the surrounding structures within the pelvis. We can see if the fallopian tubes, which lie very close to the ovaries and uterus, are filled with fluid. This is called hydrosalpinges, and it may be that we need to have these corrected or the situation regarding your tubes corrected before starting treatment. We cannot check if the tubes are open doing this scan, but we can certainly see if there are any potential problems with the tubes. When the scan is completed, we will then remove the vaginal scan probe and we will ask you to place your legs down on the floor. We will clean the probe, step outside the curtain to allow you some privacy to get dressed. We will then discuss with you the results and our findings from the scan and describe to you and discuss with you what will happen next to ensure your treatment process flows and you know exactly what is going to happen next. The whole ultrasound scan should take approximately 20 minutes and that will be doing the scan and explaining it to you.